We finally have a new Spider-Man 2 trailer, gameplay trailer, oh my god. Today was the PlayStation Showcase as of May 24th, 2023. And this was the last game that they showed to present to all of the fans. And I just have to say real quick, I couldn't be happier, I couldn't be a more happier Spider-Man fan. Insomniac has done it, they have outdone themselves. A lot of my predictions were true as far as well everyone guessed it having the symbiote as a click on and off feature in the first part of the trailer peter equips the symbiote suit and where is that featured from it's from web of shadows from 2008 i cannot believe insomniac did that i literally talked about this in my last video where i was talking about certain features i wanted to have in the game for the web swinging the suits and all that and different you know aspects i think they should add in the game and sure enough they added that feature where you can turn off and on the symbiote suit now throughout the whole 10 minutes of this amazing gameplay trailer peter doesn't go back to the red suit he just has the symbiote suit on so i'm sure it's going to be a feature where you can toggle on and off but they just wanted to full case full hardcore show off the symbiote suit and oh my god this brings back so many memories and nostalgia for me as a kid because having that symbiote suit and the red suit together and all the different combinations you can add it just brings back so much joy and i can't can't wait to relive that experience again in a new refined modern version of the game and with that being said also we have miles and you can switch between the two spider-man and oh my god the traversal has gone even more crazier miles has web wings this is going to be super innovative for Spider-Man games going forward. Like this is nothing that's been done before. And I am so happy to see Insomniac just outdo themselves because they have a high bar set for them and they have to exceed those expectations. They have to go beyond, you know, what people have in store. You're, we are literally going to be, be able to play as two different Spider-Man in this game. And I called it and everyone was saying, oh, well, what if it's going to be a co-op situation? That won't work. Literally, it, it would be too difficult. You know, like I said I, I i mentioned this in my last video it's gonna be like batman arkham knight where you're able to switch between different characters and go off like that because to be frank with you Having Peter and Miles in every single mission just wouldn't work. In the gameplay trailer, it shows that Peter can't make it in a certain place and time, but he has Miles at his disposal. Miles can be in one part of the city and then Peter can be in another part of the city and they can communicate and coordinate their attacks and plans, work as a team like that. So I think that's a very super genius way that they thought about it going forward. And I hope or, well, I'm guessing Spider-Man 3 in the future, that's the same deal. I just don't want there to be code because it'll just create a lot of complications and that's taking a huge risk now we have some elements back as far as stealth goes some of the mission designs familiar the buildings and whatnot and we have some new enemies i'm guessing these are craven's men he is out to hunt down spider-man to find an equal match for himself to fight miles and peter are trying to save the lizard because it looks like craven's men are trying to hunt down lizard and we all know lizard is dr connor's and miles and peter are trying to save him especially peter because he is friends he is partners with dr connors and i'm pretty sure that was one of his professors back in the university days it's so great to just see peter with a symbiote and i love how they changed yuri laurenthal's voice his voice sounds more deep it's more toned down it's more serious and i just i knew exactly that they were going to do this but i i didn't know that they were going to show off right off the bat because it seems like miles is okay with peter having the suit now we don't know exactly how Peter acquires the suit he does mention Harry throughout the gameplay trailer so I'm guessing that this mission that they showed off is pretty far into the game and Peter acquired the symbiote off Harry and I think there's a lot of different story elements going on at the same time you have Harry and Peter's relationship going on the symbiote and Venom and then you also have Craven in the mix so it's gonna be a lot of different ways to connect all these story pieces together and see how they're 
they're all woven because it looks like for the most part it's all kind of separate right now it will all connect eventually so that's going to be very interesting but craven is an absolute menace he looks super cool i love the design and somiak did an amazing job of the design levels the mission that they showed off here it reminds me it's very reminiscent of the raft mission that was showcased in the 2018 version when they showed peter going after sinister six at the raft prison now i do have a little bit of nitpicks as far as the web swinging goes you can see peter swinging and some of the animations it looks like they were carried from his previous game and i'm just like that's really cool and i hope that we can see more animations because it just seems like they didn't really innovate the web swinging it kind of looks like they just kept the same gameplay mechanics for the web swinging and carried them on which is fine but then again it's not peter swinging through the city so i hope we can see more of that later on at the time gets closer for this game and it also looks like miles has the same move sets as last time i did notice though peter and miles have some new animations here and there in the mix but for the most part the web swinging is kind of the same thing and which i can totally understand because that would be more difficult Difficult to reinvent a whole new gameplay mechanic for the web swinging specifically. We also have the web wings, which is going to be very fun to traverse around New York City with, do cool moves and flips and all that stuff. It looks like they really stepped up with the gameplay and the graphics because this will be a PS5 exclusive game. So Insomniac is definitely taking advantage of all that hardware and putting it to use. So I'm really happy about that. But for the most part, there's so much things, so much more to cover as the months go on for this game and i cannot wait for for more details and more more trailers more more gameplay and just overall the full game in general because i'm going to be playing this game literally non-stop and it's just so awesome to see that we actually have something else of this game now and it's going to be great it's going to be fun it's going to be an experience thank you insomnia thank you so much for this game and we can't wait for more see you all later